Boop, 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 boop. Yeah! Hi guys and welcome back to our channel again. Um, we have decided to start wrapping up some of the presents for George, yeah. Tally and James today. We've got a couple of presents that we wanted to show you. That We've got them haven't we Adam? So we're going to wrap them quickly and then we're actually heading out aren't we Adam? With Alex. Yeah, with Adam's friend I, Alex I, and my friend Danny. Also, we're going to an illuminated light trail. I've never been to one before, so there'll be lots of pretty Christmas lights to walk through and look at. Yeah. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Will there be any time there? No, it's not what it is. And I want to get some nice pictures of you. <laughs> nice pictures. But yeah, that's <laughs> our first Christmassy activity, really, that we're doing, aren't we? So let's get these presents wrapped for Tally and George, and then we'll get ready to go. Right. So the first thing we've got them is actually something that Adam's got that Uncle Adam bought for Adam um, and we thought they'd really enjoy it, didn't we? They've got the stunt rocket, like you, that's the, the rocket launcher, yeah? So yeah, we got them this because, yeah, um, Uncle Adam got one for Adam for his birthday and we've really enjoyed using it and we thought it'd be a really nice thing that all three of them can um, play with in Uganda, can't they? Yeah. We haven't got them an awful lot. As I think I said in my previous video, I don't really like overdoing it at Christmas and I haven't, haven't even got this one anything yet. Um, and I didn't get any presents. It's not Christmas yet. Nanny's got you some things, don't worry. What did she got me? It's not Christmas yet, I can't tell you that. Please. No. I'll not tell anyone. No. Then I'll never, never bring your friend to tell me then I'll I'm not, not spoiling the Christmas surprises. <laughs> I'm telling you what you got. <laughs> And we also just got them each a nice big thick colouring book. I've got one for George. Can I see? George. George. Who's that one for? Show the camera, who's that one for? Uh, Tally. Tally and for? I want to cast. James. Yeah. And then they've each got their own pencil case um, full of colour, different types of colours. So that is what we're going to wrap up now, isn't it, Adam? So we are about to try and <laughs> wrap these presents. <laughs> I honestly, I really apologise for my voice, guys. I realise it must be super annoying. Um, and I will put subtitles on because, well, I'd try to anyway. I mentioned this in the last video, but doesn't he look so smart in this jumper? Mm. And also, if anyone has any ideas of what to get a child that I don't think really needs anything, mm. please let me know, because I'm not really sure what to get him for Christmas. You are so handsome, do you know that? Oh, oh. you're beautiful. Right, do you want to learn how to wrap presents? Yes, please. Right, what you need to do is we need to make cut the piece of wrapping paper the right size. So you need to cut it all the way up here, okay? Right over here, yeah, and cut it all the way up. Good job. Well done, mister. Right, and then we need to get some solid tape. Put this here. Yeah. And this like this. Yes. And then what do you think we need to stick here? Glue. Not glue, but some tape. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> On the line, yeah. There we go. Right, now yeah, this is when it gets a bit more cop no, bit. you have to wrap the end, it gets a bit more complicated. Do you wanna come watch me here? So you have to do Yes. Push it down, you make like a triangle like this. And then I need some more tape to stick it. And cut some more down here. Not my finger. Not my finger. I've done very careful. There we go. Perfect. Okay. How did you do that? <laughs> this is super tricky, this bit, to be honest. And there you pull it, push it in like that, yeah. And then make the triangles here. Yes, at them. Yeah. Yeah, not far off. That's pretty good, Adam. Good boy for your first time rapping. Not bad. Can I need some set. Okay, let me put the camera down. Right, let's put it up on its edge like that. How did I do that? I don't know. But the only thing I would say is it's a bit long here, so just bend that. Look, that way. Yeah, fold it that way. Fantastic. I'll get some glue. Ready? Perfect! Show everyone the really nice wrap present. <clears throat> Couldn't have done it without Adam. Should we wrap the other presents? Yeah. 
now that you are a professional present wrapper. Shall we cut it like here? That's amazing. There you go. Fantastic. Right. Let's move that out of the way. Four. So this needs to go there. Let's hang on. It's a bit, little bit big. Let's do this. Okay. There you go. Do you want to put it down? There we go. Fantastic job. Exactly. Right. And I'll do my sides like this. Yeah. And then I'm going to bend that like this. Fold it like that rather. Yes, exactly. And then we need to tape it. You hold it there and I'll get you some tape. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, stick it that way round, you banana. You banana too, mama. You're a banana. No. Ah. You gonna stick something else? So we haven't finished wrapping, we've done the James's one and the uh, the joint one and it's kind of time for us to get ready to go, yeah. so we're going to finish wrapping tomorrow. Yeah. And we're off to the light trail. Yeah. later now and I am leaving it really last minute to get um, these parcels all and um, presents all wrapped up and parcels packed up ready to send to Uganda because it needed to go ideally by today later by tomorrow morning um, so yes trying to get them all packed up ready to go out and my parents have got each of them an outfit for Christmas as well so that's George's that's Tally she's got a lovely dress and I've got her a little hairband to go with it and that's James's outfit Oh, I get so sad when I see all this because I just wish I was there with them. They're going to look so lovely. So these are George's stocking fillers, a pair of slippers, some pants, toothbrush and paste, some sweets and chocolate, and then all these knights and dragon toys. And these are all the ones that I got secondhand. I got them off Facebook Marketplace. Um, and a right bargain, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's what George's got. Mum's come to help. She's dressing the Barbies. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> and this is what we've got for Tally stocking. So again, some underwear, toothbrush, toothpaste, slippers, 
It's got some hair bubbles and a nice little hair tie thing. Sweets and the Kinder Egg. Some frozen nail varnish. And these Barbies slash Bratz dolls, which I also got off Facebook Marketplace with a ton of spare clothes. It's actually the next day again now. It's taking way longer than I thought to wrap all these presents. These are for James's stocking. So like the others, he's got some pants, some slippers, toothbrush, toothpaste, sweets and chocolate. And then he's got some Thomas the Tank Engine toys. These are also secondhand. I think they were from eBay. And a lunchbox bag. We're also not forgetting our furry friends this Christmas. And I've just got some cheap dog and cat treats to send out. For the pets as well which i'm also wrapping up so this is it every time i send stuff out to uganda it's obviously different but this is it because it's obviously the christmas parcel this time so i've put all their stocking presents in individual bags just so josh can basically empty them into the stockings on christmas eve and he doesn't have anything else to worry about in terms of that and then these are the presents for under the tree for josh tally george james and the pets um, that's from me and Adam and my mum and dad. Um, I've got some bits of clothes for George. Um, they're all just secondhand bits and bobs. That's for some friends. And this is because hopefully Tally will be um, starting school in January. So this is a little gift with some things for school. Um, yeah, for, so that'll be for after Christmas. But hopefully you'll see what's in that because Josh will hopefully document Tally starting school. Fingers crossed that the president sticks to what he says and schools will be start again in January because it's been almost two years and Tally should have started over a year ago. Anyway, now to try and get these into these boxes. So I managed to fit it all in these two boxes and I also managed to add a duvet cover set to one box for Josh. So that took me way longer than I expected but the boxes are all packaged up ready to be picked up today and I'm just hoping they get out to Uganda in time for Christmas. I probably send parcels out, well I've been sending them out every few months really. I try and time it with birthdays and things so I sent a big box out just before tallies and then one recently before Josh, James and George's and this is the Christmas one. I guess it's my way of just showing them that I still I love them and I care for them and I'm thinking of them um, and trying to look after them even though yeah I don't know it's just so hard it really is I, I find it really hard putting these boxes together and like you know even like having these beautiful hair things to put in Tally's hair I'm like I want to be the one putting them in her hair and I, I want to see them opening their presents and it's just it actually really hurts and I feel like I don't actually talk about it very much um, and that how difficult it is being apart from them um, I don't want to be, I guess, negative and I don't want to focus on all the sad things and so I always post all these happy videos of things I'm doing with Adam but it, it really isn't everything. Like, every time I take Adam out somewhere, I'm trying to enjoy it so much but in my head I'm just imagining being there with Adam, Josh and all the kids. Like, every everything we do, like, it's like always in my head and it's really hard to fully enjoy anything because we miss them so much. I'm gonna try not to cry now. Um, but yeah, it's really hard. It's been like 11 months now since we've seen them. Um, and oh, I didn't think I was gonna cry. Whew. Obviously anyone that's been in a long distance relationship anyway will know that that's so hard. It is just really difficult. But it's also really hard being away from the kids because you know, they, they, they're they growing up, I'm missing them grow, I'm missing being there for all the milestones they hit and stuff, so that's hard. And on top of that, I actually really miss my pets as well. And the really hard thing about the pets is, number one, they don't know where I've gone or why I've gone anywhere. But also, you know, you only... Also, you know, you only, you only have your pets for a limited amount of time. Their lifespan is a lot shorter than ours. And I don't want to miss years with them, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, this is not supposed to be um, a video where I get upset. Anyway, it's just all taking a lot longer than I guess I thought it would. I thought we'd at least have visited Uganda twice by now. And I did mention in a video recently how we're spending Christmas here and that was our choice to spend it here rather than Uganda. But I had actually hoped to be going out potentially for New Year to Uganda. I just didn't mention that. It wasn't a choice of not going at all. Um, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening for a couple of different reasons. Um, one is that um, Adam's adoption is still going on here at the moment and 
I can't really leave in the middle of it but not only that I don't actually have any of his paperwork at the moment so all the all his adoption paperwork and everything is all with the courts so I wouldn't be able to travel now without it um but even by some miracle if we got that back because we do actually have court this month um even if we did get that back I just realistically we just don't have the money to go it's extremely expensive especially at this time of year I'm sending out pretty much all my earnings to Uganda and just the money is, isn't really there for expensive flights right now. Obviously it's basic, even though I'm very lucky that I'm living with my parents, my parents do not charge me to live here. Um, obviously that's not forever, but it is for now. Um, but I am supporting everyone out in Uganda. Josh, you know, runs the charity voluntarily for, no, for nothing. Um, and then he's got the kids and the dogs and everything. So any job that he could get out there wouldn't pay enough compared to the amount of work he's doing for the charity and our family. Um, so yeah, at the moment it's just a bit hard. However, there are ways you guys can help us, the ways you guys can help us maybe get enough money together to go and visit um, out and also just get the money together to hurry this adoption up and get them here. We do make a small bit of ad revenue from um, YouTube. Um, from when you watch our videos. So if you aren't subscribed, please do. Um, there are so many of you that I, it never fails to amaze me how quickly you watch a video as soon as I get it up and comment on it and everything. So if you're one of those people, thank you and hi, we do see you every single time. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't got notifications on, then please turn them on too so that you don't miss any of our videos. Um, and also, it could just really help if you like our videos and comment down below. Having um, more engagement means our videos then get seen by more people and also we do have a couple of brands that have wanted to work with us um, and the better engagement we have the more likely brands will work with us. So I love making videos, I love talking to all of you um, and to be able to make money from it would be so incredible and it would help us get all our family back together. Um, I know lots of you really can't wait to have videos of us all back together again so make sure you're commenting, liking, sharing. Um, yeah, and then hopefully that will happen sooner rather than later. Anyway, hopefully next time you see the contents of these boxes, they will be in Uganda and Josh and the kids will be opening them at Christmas time. For now, I'm going to leave this video here and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye guys. You came along, couldn't look away how you turned my life completely upside down